Hello there YouTube and welcome back to Mobster Monkey and today we are doing another review or action figure review as you can see we are doing the uh, action figure uh, from Friday the 13th uh, part 7 um, Jason um, as you can clearly see on the screen uh, but before we jump into the uh, review I do want to take this time to thank our sponsors which is of course Nerds Forever um, Nerds Forever is a great place to get any of your nerdy needs, um, such as action figures, um, comic books, uh, pop figures, anything of the sorts. Uh, you can definitely go check out their website down in the description below, or you can definitely check these things out. Um, and uh, if you are planning on buying anything from Nerds Forever, you can use the promo code uh, NEWCASTLE uh, for 10% off of anything you buy. Um, and then also on top of that, uh, May 7th is free comic book day, so I highly recommend reaching out to Nerds Forever for any of your free comic books on May 7th uh, to get any of the free comic books from uh, from Nerds Forever. Um, I do show off a lot of the uh, comics that we will be receiving at Nerds Forever um, on my TikTok, and I am trying to release them on my YouTube, um, so definitely go check those out so that you know uh, what type of comics are going to be free for free comic book day. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the review of the figure. Um, so first off, we're going to take a look at the box. Um, so the box is box art's pretty great. I enjoy the box art. Kind of follows the uh, um, the um, the art for the for the movie uh, for the VHS um, back in the day, and then of course the DVD that they released uh, once they once the DVDs were a thing. Um, so it looks really good. It's got that old generic feel to it, of course. And then on Friday the 13th, Jason is back. But this time, someone's waiting. And then side view, we've got a great view of Jason up at the top. And of course, it tells us that it's made by NECA. And then we've got the figure on the back. So we've got the broken uh, uh, hockey mask when it gets uh, broken. And then we've got the, the figure itself uh, showing off the figure. We've got uh, a couple of accessories that come with it, so a couple of his weapons, and then the other side. And then, we, of course, we've got it to be opened. So it shows off the, the figure with the scythe. And then, of course, we've got the figure, and we've got every accessory that comes with the figure. Um, so and there's a ton of accessories that come with this figure. So let's go ahead and open this thing up, and we'll take a closer look at the figure and accessories. Alrighty, and now we're back with the figure and accessories all out of the box, but we're going to set the figure back here for a minute as we take a closer look at the accessories. First off, we're going to take a look at the extra head it gives us. Um, this one, I believe, has his mouth opened, where the one that's on him has his mouth closed, as you can see. So the uh, extra head allows him to have his mouth open. So it looks pretty, pretty, pretty dope looking. Pretty good detail on this figure. Um, on this this figure's head, this extra head, it kind of looks slimy, kind of has that slimy look to it, because, I mean, water and whatnot, you know, Jason. Um, especially this one, I believe this is the one where he gets stuck underwater. Um, if I remember correctly, by the chain, he gets stuck underwater. Um, so he's stuck underwater, so of course he's going to be a little more slimy, gross looking, and then of course he's decaying because he's a zombie as well, so he's looking pretty gross. Um, so it looks really good. The head the sculpt looks really, really well done. Um, very, very, very good. Very good detail. Very good paint job. Looks very Jason-like. Very scary. And then it comes with an extra mask, and this is the one where the mask is broken. Again, very good paint job. Very good detail for the hockey masks, especially with the break in the mask. It looks really good. I really enjoy um, the, the paint jobs they did on these on these look really really good I'm trying to make it to where it's not wanting to focus on the jason in the back and then the hands it comes with the extra hands though these ones are allow you to hold things these are the closed hands where the ones that he has on are the open hands so these ones allow you to hold things and then some of the weapons it comes with um this is a branch cutter i believe the branch cutter again pretty good pretty good detail Pretty good um, paint job going on. Kind of feel has that woody feel to it. And then we've got the scythe going on. Pretty good again. Pretty good detail, um, especially in the handle. Got a lot of detail there. Paint good paint job. And then the axe, fire axe, wood axe. 
paint job very well done on the the metal and then it looks like it has it looks like blood stains looks like it's got blood stain onto the wood so that's really really cool i really enjoy that and then the piece of wood with a nail in it um or a piece of bot or uh is this a table leg? I can't remember. Table leg or piece of metal with a uh, nail or piece of metal in it. So it looks really good. Again, it's trying to focus on Jason in the background. And then a big old knife. This knife is huge. It's a ginormous knife. I don't know why they made the knife so big. And then the, of course, iconic uh, machete. Jason's machete very good and then the weed whacker weed whacker or uh i guess yeah i guess this would be a weed whacker right because it's got the i don't know could be anything uh freaking uh what's it called a uh, cement cutter um but yeah or edger um so again very good paint job going on a lot of detail with the work that they put into this and now let's go ahead and take a closer look at the figure himself. Really cool. They've got the chain um, around his neck. Really, really well done. The hockey mask can be pulled off. So you can take a little closer look at the face. Again, very good detail with the face of Jason. Let me pull my thing up a bit. Very good detail added into the face. Into the, uh, the workings of the, the Jason's um, molded face. And then the hockey mask, again, looks really, really good. A lot of good detail. The fading and whatnot in the mask looks really, really good. Um, the just the figure itself has a lot of detail. Uh, very zombified. I really like zombified uh, figures. Um, so you can see ribs. You can see uh, muscles and stuff. You can see a lot of it being torn off, ripped off. He's got a lot of bones showing. Um, a lot of good detail. The clothing feels really good. It has a, the same feel all the way through it. That rubbery feel. So you can move around certain things. So you can see a lot of things. It's a very, very well done figure. Um, paint job wise and um, texture and details. Very good. Um, articulation wise, he's got full rotation. So he's got a head, uh, a ball joint head, of course, because you can replace the head and whatnot. Again, hockey mask can be taken off. Um, he can look up. Let me take the hockey mask off for a second. He can look up not too terribly high. Look up about that high. And he's able to look down about that much. Put the hockey mask back on. And then shoulders. Ooh, very, very stiff on this figure. Again, I don't really want to end up breaking a figure. Um, but pretty stiff arm, so he's raising it about that high, give or take. Um, you might be able to find one that's a little looser, so he can raise his arm a tad bit higher. He's got double jointed uh, elbows, so he's got good elbow bend there. It's about as far you can bend the elbows. And then there doesn't look like there's any articulation in the forearm, which is fine. It looks like he's got... Oh, hey, no, there's, there's some there's some give there. So he's got full rotation of forearm, just right up there under the joint. That's nifty. And then articulation in the wrist, full rotation. And then he can bend it in any which direction. Um, so you've got articulation there. He's got a tiny bit of ab crunch. So not a lot of ab crunch going on, but there is some. As you can see it, there is the uh, the separation between ab and by main body. And then hips, or uh, waist, he's got full waist. It looks like there's none in the waist, it's up in the chest again. One of those figures where it's got the articulation up in the chest area. So that's, again, really funky, but it's really nice. It's really good because of the shirt um, doesn't have to get in the way or whatnot. And that allows the britches to come up a little higher. Um, Splits-wise, Jason can do a pretty good amount of splits for what you expect a big guy like Jason to be able to do. Um, outwards, you can kick out about that far. And then backwards, you can kick about that far. And then it looks like double articulated knees. Nope, just single articulated knee which is fine. Again, you don't expect a lot of articulation from Jason because he doesn't really do much. All he does is really walk around. Um, so he doesn't have much articulation in uh, the, the, the knee. Uh, foot articulation, he's got pretty good amount of foot articulation as normal as normal figures. And it doesn't, and he does have ankle pivot and does look like it's on that ball joint. 
So a good amount of articulation with a good amount of detail. Again, it's no um, uh, McFarlane toy articulation because um, they add in arti a ton of articulation, but it does make up for all the details, the ripped clothing, the paint job. Again, looks phenomenal. We'll go ahead and take a uh, just a normal look at the figure. Oh, he just fell over. Okay. So we got the front view of him. Got the side view. We got the back view. It's showing off his freaking all of his spine and whatnot. That's really, really cool. Really gruesome looking, but really well done. And then the other side view. And back to the front. But yeah, guys, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know how you guys feel about this Jason, Part 7 Jason. And let me know if you guys have any other Jasons that you want to see in the near future. Um, but this is one of my favorite Jasons due to it being all zombified. Because the other ones um, are normal humans or um, not really zombified. But this one has a very zombie feel. And I really, really enjoy the zombie feel of Jason. Uh, it looks really, really well done and um, whatnot. So... Hope you guys enjoyed, and if you guys did, hit that like button. Also, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can stay tuned for more of my videos. Also, hit that notifications button so that uh, when I do upload next, you guys will be notified. And, uh, yeah, definitely go check out my TikTok, too. Um, it should be up in my banner. Um, check out the TikTok and also nerdsforever.com. Um, 307nerdsforever.com, excuse me. Uh, link in the description below for or any of your action figure needs or any type of nerdy needs. Uh, but yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed again, and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.